whistle sounds and we're up and running here in round two of the Machine Seeker EHF Champions League Magdeburg, the 2023 champions up against will be with Magdeburg in the black, Holstad wearing white. Magdeburg looking for an early start. Magnussen. Magnussen to give Magdeburg a perfect start. Kolstad won't want to fall too far behind. There have been some big winning margins already this evening. That's a good save to start. And now Magdeburg pressing forward with the fast break. The prospect of a 2-0 lead, which becomes reality. Albin Lagergren with the goal. That's nicely done, bounce. There's Musha. Lagergren. Wearing 10 is Christiansson. And it's crossed the line. First of Sagerson again trying to pull the strings. He keeps it moving. Yep, son. There's the save from Sergei Hena. Great to see him fit again after missing last season's group stage or the bulk of it with that shoulder injury after he dislocates. It's an important save though. Stad finally repelling a shot and not quite scoring up the other end. Magdeburg looking to increase their lead to three. They do exactly that. Clever dummy and their neat finish. It's quickly 4-2. Manuel Tainde got the goal for Magdeburg. In Sweden. Sibaldi Gudjonsson. It's a long way out and it's a cover first half a dozen minutes. Sagerson. Jepson. Diego Hernandez. Sends the chance for a fast break. They've got the opportunity now. Salstrup. In it goes. Magdeburg in charge early on here. Nice. And Magdeburg season, with the exception of the Champions League, ended up coming unstuck against Alborg in the semi finals in Cologne. Ozzy and Kisli Christiansen and Oskarsson scores past Sergei Hernandez. It's 6 3. To throw so far, both penalties safely converted. Lagergren wriggled his way through. Sagerson, meantime. Kolstad trying to make a quick response. Magdeburg. So menacing. And another score. Manuel Zender thinks the big winning margins. Sporting earlier on. Veshbrem 2. Sagerson, good save. There's Lagergren at the line. Saustrup. Which is over the course of the close season. I have got some new faces. Oskarsson, who we've already seen score a penalty. Jepsen as well, who's hit. They've again given away the ball. An opportunity knocks for Lagergren. Magdeburg now into double figures. We've not even played 11 and a half minutes yet. Short in the Champions League. They have unfinished business in this competition this season. Sagerson, it's another save from Sergei Hernandez. Magdeburg moved the ball so quickly. Magdeburg moved the ball so quickly. Southstrip slams on the brakes. Deposited into the court. At the time O'Sullivan stuck it away. Benedict Oscarsson, can he make it two from two? He can. And he scored each of Colstad's last two goals. Lagergren managed to feed it wide. The shot is saved, but will be Magdeburg's evening with that penalty throw. And he bookended. Saved. Excellent work there. The left wing there that didn't seem to expect it. Sagerson keeps it moving. Wide by Oskarsson. And the finish into the corner. Neatly put away by Sigvaldi Gudjonsson. In Poland. Christiansen, Sausrup with all the time in the world. Sagerson having to do a lot of the heavy lifting with the playmaking duties. 
We're running out of time here. Threat of passive play is alive. Sagerson. They've got the shot away, but it's caught the crossbar. They were patient enough to wait, thus an efforts have produced just five. That's been the difference. Gisli Christiansen using the wing, and Matthias Muscher deposits it. Sergei Hernandez to the rescue for Magda Bull, that tally. That's a very much split his duties with Nicola Port, and that's thrown away wildly. Salsford to set it for Zainda for the high hit, saved fairly comfortably in the end by Torbjörn Bergerud. Goals to five, but that from Bergerud, an important stop in terms of changing the momentum potentially. Sergei Hernandez with the save He's from Benedict Oscarsson. How will Port the Fair against Oscarsson? It's three from three from the line from the Icelander. Here he is again, Christiansen. Magnussen, Christiansen did well to gather it, Magdeburg did well to score. Manuel Zainder once again was beaten. Musha, in it goes. That's a great save. Sergei Hernandez. And again, Christiansen. The shot will surely come in. No, Magdeburg doing well. Musha's done enough. Musha will surely collect it. Here is Matthias Musha. Good save. Bergerud coming to the rescue for Kolstad. Suddenly, this game has come to life. Kolstad now looking to score from the wing. They do so. It's the second time he's done that. Sigvaldi Gudjonsson. Is Christiansen. He to score the pass was a little bit high there for Alberg, otherwise he would have been in business. Alberg this time, Sergei Hernandez in the way. How big has he come up this evening? Pass Portner. There's still six behind. Magnussen almost lost it. Zender spun it across the line. Once, once again for Omar Ignigi Magnussen, he scored one and missed one. Magnussen scores this one. At no stage has the lead got bigger than seven, which is what it stands at now. At the line, Sergei Hernandez again. How well is he playing this evening? Denying Magnussen. Actually firing straight at Sergei Hernandez. He's either catch him in the midriff. That's an offensive foul, it won't count despite. Just don't seem to have enough different options. Seaman Lisa, that was fizzed into the corner. Could yet be again. Christiansen. And here come Kolstad with the fast break. They'll surely make the most of this. No! He's wrapped. They can't afford that if they're to be on the winning side tonight, the Norwegians. A good save from us. Basically, going to be offload and shoot. Sagerson does pass it in the end. This recent score came from the seven meter line for Magnussen. It's he who bolsters percentage. It is Magnussen, and it goes in. Two in a row now. Still looking for that. 10th goal to try and at least get over that psychological hurdle and get into double figures. They've thrown the ball. It's very loud. Yellow trainers, Chris Gisli Christiansen. That's so well done. The interval. This match looks like it's only going one way. Sagerson giving away. Tough. Holstad trying to appeal for passive play. It's through towards the line and it's yet another goal complete the first half. Sanders Sagerson caught by Sergei Hernandez. What a display this has been from the 2023. He's faced an astonishing nine saves from 17 efforts and Magdeburg have as many as five different players who have all really struggled for goals here. Restricted to just nine in the first 30 minutes. It's they who have the first play of this second half. Sagerson. 
Sergio Hernandez can't keep that one. At the empty goal, worth the 7v6, but we saw that that can be costly. We saw it earlier on, in particular in Denmark with Fredericia. Good save. Did chip in in the first half, but it was hard to match the efforts of Sergei Hernandez, who's now considered. To... That one has crept in, though. Magdeburg get their first score of the second half. First score of the second half. But Sergei Hernandez has been beaten again. Christiansen. That's a thumping finish. The left wing. Taking a long time, there might be passive play here. Sagerson, round the back it goes. The shot from the right wing catches the post. Lagergren. Salsa did well to gather that. Also a couple. Do trail. To do anything but would be silly, really. They have got a shooting angle, they have got a goal. They then concede at the other end. Alvin Lagergren once again. Lisa fourth from four meantime. Sander Sagerson. And again. Spotted Lisa for the in-flight goal. He's really stepping up in the second half. Stopped well. Lagergren. Come Kolstad again, they've worked it wide. This time it was the assist from Seaman Lisa. Put away sweetly by Christiansen. Magdeburg needs to score here to end this drought. Christiansen saved. Gets the lead back up to seven. Magnussen, the changing goalkeeper, pays dividends. Lars Egan Rismark with the save. And the tide is very much turning the way of Kolstad now. Gets it back. They've lost the ball. Here's Christiansen. Long way out. Easy save in the end for Beggar. They can sustain it for the remaining 20. Sagerson bouncing it through. Southstrup there. Kolstad. Sagerson. Saved by Sergei Hernandez. They needed him to step up there. Just lent to his left and kept it out. There from Vettler Ekaga. Magdeburg working the angle well. Gets through Lagergren again. Three straight goals for him. When he did well just to keep that in play in the end. Sigvaldi Gudjonsson. Another save from Sergen after a couple of difficult early minutes in the second half. Lisa. They use the wing. Sergei Hernandez is there again. Time and time again. He is keeping out Kolstad. Look at that. Good finish there from Zainde. On the right back position by Daniel Peterson. Oscarsson. No way through for him. Zender bounces it over the top. Repeat their triumph of 2023. That's a fine fin. Simon Jepsen with it. But they respond, Magdeburg, with a goal of their own. Through it goes, in it goes. Now O'Sullivan on the move. Through it goes. Albin Lagergren is just up. He's now just too shy of double figures. He's already scored eight from ten as it is. Wide, but it will be a penalty. Christian O'Sullivan, Pino. Solid Benedict. Oscarsson in the first half from this range. Oscarsson again scores. No issues for him. Four from four. Four of their chances, but they're still seven behind here. Isley Christiansen wins another penalty. Well, Zender has been given the opportunity and he spurns it. Yet again, it's Lars Egan Rismark showing how reliable he is. A few jeers of derision from the Gator Garina crowd here. Very partisan public here in Magdeburg. 
Lost though. Magnussen for Christiansen and Zendal. They've used the wing effectively and it results in a goal. And it is the first goal of the evening for Isak Persson. Giving it their best shot here, Kolstad, but it does look like they're going to lose their first two matches. No shame in being defeated by the reigning European champions, Barca, nor by the team that won the trophy. Lucas Merton. Sagerson back amongst us. It's he who swivels and finds Sondina who scores. <laughs> 20th of the evening. Psychological lift they might get with that. Somehow they sit in from what looked like a very unlikely vantage point. Mikhail Damgaard scored. Moments later, Kolstad respond. They've moved it. Sagerson, Sundiner. Now he's presumably saying he was just putting his weight to that side. That's a big hit, and they're back to within six. Credit there. Two or three goal cushion. They still feel fairly confident in this position, even more so in Bolton's by leading by six, but they won't want to allow Polster much more encouraged. Sagerson, and again, he can shoot. Instead, he finds Sundana. Great disguise, 3%. Contrast that to Polster, 12 and 46. Here's Gisli Christiansen. Again, they tried to use the wing instead. They used the disguise there. It is Omaringi Magnuson with a goal. It is Omaringi Magnuson with a goal. But how many times have we seen that recently? Magdeburg score, Kolstad Gesch. Christiansen. Bounced through by Magnuson. Good save there. Running out of time, Kolstad. Unless they can go on a very quick run of goals. Sagerson buries it. Damgaard. Magnussen, top corner. Sagerson, gone off target. Damgaard. Magnussen. Here's Damgaard. Another goal for him. Oscarsson, Sagerson. They're all out of time, surely. Oscarsson, it's in. Very creative finish. Wasn't really much else he could have done beyond that. Magnussen, Damgaard again. How good when they led 18-9 at the interval. Oscarsson, again he's found a shooting angle. Sergei Hanan knocked out Magdeburg. So it's a repeat of that. Semi-final from Lanxys Arena, albeit in round three of the Champions League. The job well done, Magdeburg, the 2023 Champions League champions. They will have the whole way to at least feature in the...